everyone, welcome to Ryan M Outdoors. It's snowing here in Nebraska, finally. And it's getting cold. Uh, cold temperatures have arrived and we're ready for ice to form onto those lakes and ponds. Not quite yet, but it's getting there. So that kind of sparked me to uh, come up with the idea to go ahead and show you guys uh, some of the things that I'm getting ready to prepare for for ice fishing because uh, I absolutely love ice fishing. It's something that's really fun um, to get out there on the ice, especially when you're on safe ice uh, and get out there and do do some fishing, especially if you're an avid fisherman like I am. So uh, winter time is here and uh, we're excited for the ice to start forming. So uh, while we're waiting for the ice to form, starting to get my ice fishing uh, stuff together, my equipment and everything. And so I thought I would show you uh, kind of what uh, I have going on. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get into uh, the fishing poles and uh, lures and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the bigger stuff that we got. So uh, the first thing is you got to have an auger for ice fishing. Um, if you don't have an auger, uh, then you can't go ice fishing, obviously. So I got this handheld auger. Uh, it's a very cheap one. Uh, probably costs, I don't know, maybe $150. And uh, it's a handheld one and it gets the job done. So um, got to keep the blade sharp on it, of course. Got the blade guard on here, but uh, this is what I'm gonna use to pop my holes. So uh, we got that. Uh, of course, we got the sled here. Got this from Cabela's. These are very handy to put all your equipment in and haul out onto the ice. Um, this one actually has a couple of bucket holders here that you can put your buckets in uh, for sitting on, and uh, that'll keep, the, keep all your equipment in the bucket and, keep it from tipping over for the most part. Also, I got a snow shovel. This is very important to have uh, to um, whenever you're buried into the snow out there on the uh, water, uh, you can just use this to kind of scoop the snow off, kind of like that, and these are handy. Um, I like this one because it's an 11 inch snow shovel, and it's even good for your car too if you get stuck in the snow as well. So I highly recommend getting one of these because um, right now, if I were to go out on the frozen pond, there would be lots of snow on there and I want to be able to scoop that snow off to get to the ice for my auger. So definitely uh, encourage you to get a snow shovel. Um, next thing I have is uh, if you have a pop-up uh, tent, uh, you definitely need a Mr. Buddy heater here. So I got uh, this guy here, it's a portable buddy and uh, you just stick in your uh, little propane bottles and uh, stick it on the side here and that'll keep you very warm uh, in the hut as you're ice fishing. So definitely recommend one of these. Uh, also got Vexilar and uh, this is the uh, Gens Pack FLX 12 uh, that you can purchase um, at any sporting goods store. Um, I got this one at Shields actually and I linked in the description down below and you can check out one of those as well. So. Uh, I got my Vexlar. I, I bought this last year and this is a game changer when it comes to ice fishing. They're lots of fun. Highly recommend getting one of those too. Also got an iFish Pro. Uh, you can put this on somebody's Christmas list. And uh, this was on my Christmas list last year and got one of these. And uh, I have yet to catch a fish on it, but I'm hoping this winter that's going to happen. But it's the iFish Pro 2.0 tip up and uh, it's pretty handy. Uh, it's already got the thermal built into the bottom here, so that way your hole doesn't freeze over as you're ice fishing. So uh, these are pretty handy too. Also, one thing that's very important with safety equipment, uh, when you're on the ice, of course, you want to be super safe out there. So I recommend getting some, some sort of uh, boot cleats. Uh, these can just go right onto your boot and uh, strap right on there. And then that way you got traction out there on the ice, which is very important so you don't slip and fall. Also got a uh, scoop here. Uh, this is a metal scoop. You can also get plastic scoops too. Uh, the one thing about these metal scoops is sometimes uh, if you get water on these holes, uh, it will freeze over. So you really kind of want to watch what you're doing there too. So anyway, you've got to have a scoop for when you auger out your hole, you can scoop the loose ice out too. So. I also got lots of rope here too that you can also attach to a tree. Uh, off on the bank so that way in case you're not sure if the ice is uh, safe enough you can also use a, a rope to uh, you know 
keep yourself safe in case you need to pull yourself out of trouble. Another thing that I have is I got this uh, Dakota Lithium Power Box um, 10. Uh, this will keep all your gear um, and your cameras uh, charged up as well. And it's got a car charging port there as well as two USB ports. And uh, this, this will last you pretty much all day, sometimes two days too, if you're, if you're staying overnight out on the ice. So uh, yeah, I got this Lithium Power Pack and uh, this has really kept my stuff charged up. Okay, now that I've gone over most all of my equipment, I'm going to go ahead and get into my bag here and kind of show you my rods and reels, as well as some of the lures and some of the safety equipment that I got in my bag. This bag is very handy. I got this for Christmas uh, last year, and uh, it, it worked out great for me uh, from Cabela's. In the middle, you got the, uh, the rods that you can keep in here. I have up to three. Uh, ice fishing rods, but man, you could probably even put four in here too. Uh, and then there's pockets on, on each side that you can keep random stuff. So let's go ahead and go through it here. Uh, the first ice fishing rod that I have here is uh, called the Celsius, uh, something I got at my local sporting goods store. And uh, it, uh, it caught some fish last year, that's for sure. So, uh, And you don't have to have the special ice fishing rods, especially if you're just getting into it. Um, this is what I've started out with and and they've seemed to do me well uh, too so um, as soon as I get this untangled here uh, yeah this is my first ice fishing rod here it's one of the cheaper versions but it's a Celsius uh, rod and I'm not even sure uh, what the length of it is here um, well here it says right here it's 24 inches medium light and uh, I got uh, a little uh, bobber stop here on from the Ice Fish Pro and a little lure here and and uh, yeah this is one of the rods that I use. Um, one of my nicer rods that I have is this Abu Garcia and this rod is a 2.0 Veritas Ice and it is an ultralight 29 inch so it's a little bit bigger than the Celsius rod. Um, and it takes two to four pound test line. So this is my nicest rod that I have. Probably the most expensive one that I got. And then my third one here is a Berkley uh, reel and Berkley rod. And the length of this is 27 inches. It's light and it takes two to six pound test line. So these are the three rods that I use. Uh, I usually put one rod on the iFish Pro here and uh, then use the other one in my hand. Uh, and then sometimes I use a, a third one for a dead stick as well. So, uh, so those are the three rods that go in the middle here. And then on my front pocket here, we'll kind of see what all I got in here. I kind of forgot what some of the stuff I have in here. Uh, I got several containers here that I bought in at the uh, local uh, fish and tackle store. Uh, and this just kind of keeps a lot of my jig heads in here uh, for various baits. Uh, I got some soft plastics and some bobber stops in this uh, plastic container here. Um, got a fancy Plano container here that I keep a lot of my spoons that have treble hooks in. And uh, something I want to show you here real quick is I just took some styrofoam uh, that I cut up from uh, one of... Uh, a shipment that I got in the mail and took out styrofoam, cut, you know, measured the box and cut it out, and I use it for my spoons. So, <laughs> works out pretty handy actually. So, all right, what else do I got in my ice fishing bag here? Uh, we have some more little soft plastics. I got some from Frostbite. I uh, got some crappie baits here, uh, baby shad color. I uh, got another lure from Frostbait called the Tantrum. Highly recommend the Tantrum. These are awesome as well. I'll leave a link to some of these baits in the description down below if you want to check those out. Uh, I got a Sitka um, lure from my Mystery Tackle Box uh, last year. Uh, I also got some scissors. These are very handy to take out the lures inside the fish. I uh, got different types of pound test line. I got six pound, four pound test trialine. Uh, five pound test, three pound test, just all kinds of fish lines in here. Uh, let's see here, I also got frostbite dinner bell. These dinner bells rock too because they make lots of noise in, 
in the water when you're ice fishing. So yeah, this is kind of my lure compartment. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into my other pocket, which has some safety stuff. On this side, I got my waterproof uh, Celsius gloves here, which are handy for when you're always getting fish out of the fishing hole and your hands don't get wet and cold. Um, also got some safety picks here, and these are very important. You can just wrap these around your neck, put them together here, and that way you have them handy for when you got to pull yourself out of the ice. So these are nice. I always carry a whistle too, so if I'm ever in trouble or fall through the ice, I can at least whistle, and if somebody's around the uh, pond or lake, maybe they can hear me and come help me out. Uh, also, I actually got two pairs of uh, safety grips, and just in case my partner doesn't have some, I can give them to him. Uh, I got a nice little flashlight here, and then I got a roll of hockey stick tape. Uh, that I use for a lot of my equipment. In fact, I even have it around my Vexilar here. Uh, I usually put it around the handle here, as you can see, uh, so that way I can grip that in cold weather. And I uh, highly recommend getting some hockey tape for all your equipment to, to grip better. Also got some hot hands here. These are always great for hunting and fishing in the cold weather. And uh, yeah, that's that's really about it. So, uh, so this bag is really nice. Like I said, in the middle it's got my fishing poles. One side's got all my lures and fishing line, and then the other side it's got just a bunch of uh, safety equipment as well. So, this is pretty handy. Uh, I can kind of carry this everywhere I want. And like I said, these sleds are very very handy to put all your gear into the sled and take it out on the ice. One thing I haven't shown you is my uh, pop-up blind that I use. I don't have a fancy ice fishing hunt yet, eventually I will get one, but right now I just use my hunting pop-up blind to uh, keep the warmth in and it seems to work out so, so far. Hang on one second, bear with me, my phone just went off. Oh, it looks like I got an email from Mystery Taco Box and I've uh, done a monthly subscription for them, in fact I just got one in the month of November. Uh, for multi-species. Uh, I ordered it for my dad's birthday and went ahead and continued the subscription uh, for ice fishing and uh, looks like looks like it just came in the mail actually so I'm gonna go check out the mystery tackle box and head to the mailbox. Let's go let's go see what we got. Let's go out here to the mailbox and go check it out. I'm excited about this. It's ice fishing season box has arrived. Let's see what's in the box. There she is. Mystery Taco Box Pro Series Ice Fishing. Because it is ice fishing season in Nebraska. You can't tell by the snow. Alright, let's take this to the back deck and Check it out. Alright, the good old mystery taco box pro series. Ice fishing edition. Man, that came came right in time actually. Alright, let's check out what we got here. I'm super excited. I got this last year and it was a uh, quite the variety pack, so yeah, let's let's check this out. My rods back in here. Let me get into this thing. All right, let's see what we got in the NTB box. All right, it looks like we got a muska jig. Nice little red jig there. And we got a tournament grade, the secret weapon. Looks like a jig and wrap. Pretty colorful jig and wrap. And this is sweet. Definitely use those jig and wraps for sweet. Got to be careful though, because when you get the fish out of the hole, they'll uh, when that fish is flopping around, those jig and wraps will get you. And they got hooks all over the place. Got some tungsten blitz lures by Icefly, gold tungsten. 
jig heads. And we got some Euro Tackle Micro Finesse Euro Grub Junior. Little white, white things there. Put them on your jig, on your jig heads. Oh, uh, what else did we get? We got another Gamma Scud from Euro Tackle. These look like little uh, spider lobster type guys. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I got another little jig and wrap, a smaller version, 1 8 ounce. And this is from Vexen Crystal Reaper. One thing that's cool about MTB is, is you get all kinds of different lures from different companies that you may not buy otherwise at the store. So this is really fun. Plus it's fun to open up a, a tackle box. Who doesn't like to open that uh, as a fisherman? Uh, I got another uh, Tungsten Glow uh, Jig Heads here by Widowmaker. So that'd be cool to use the flashlight to shine onto under these to brighten them up. And then we also got some Mini Quattro Donkey Sauce Infused Purple Rain Ultra Glow uh, Little Worm Spike Deals. Huh, those are interesting. Never seen those before. Awesome. And then of course with, uh, oh, we got one more here. We got Tungsten Glow Jigs by Widowmaker. So lots of Widowmaker stuff here. And then, of course, in the box, it also tells you what all you have here and what it retails for. Just all kinds of fun stuff here. So you can check that out for sure. And it looks like we got a sticker here, too, by Catchco. Kind of a cool sticker to put on your Vexlar if you want or any of your fishing equipment. And so that's MTB box. The other thing, the other cool thing about this is it's got a ruler on here and it's got, uh, got keeper requirements for the MTB contest. Panfish has to be 6 inches, trout 12 inches, bass 14 inches, walleye 16 inches, and everything else 18 inches. So you measure it on here and then take a picture and send it into a Mystery Tackle Box and uh, get entered. So a little MTB Ice Fishing Edition. So be sure to get on a Mystery Tackle Box. It's a great thing, especially with the holidays. Uh, you can buy this as a birthday present as well, like I did for my dad. and gift that keeps on giving I suppose so thanks MTB for hooking me up with some ice fishing uh, tackle so well that's gonna do it for Ryan M Outdoors hopefully uh, you got some ideas on some ice fishing tackle especially for you people that are getting into ice fishing and uh, that's some of the basic stuff I have I haven't spent a whole lot of money on ice fishing just because I'm still kind of getting into it too but slowly but surely buy the equipment because it can get expensive so anyway hopefully you enjoyed this ice fishing edition uh, this equipment edition and um, can't wait to get out there on the water and for the ice to start freezing up so won't be too long here in Nebraska and uh, we just gotta wait for safe ice which is at least three inches for me to go out on and uh, it'll be here before we know it so next time I see you hopefully I'm out there on the ice and using some MTB uh, lures and jig heads and and getting some fish caught thanks for watching see you on the next one